I'm talking to the executive producer, Lachlan, of A Discovery of Witches, a new show based on the beloved trilogy. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I am happy to welcome you to San Diego Comic-Con. That's how I'm doing. Thank you very much. So, Lachlan, what was it like to take it from book to TV? In adapting a novel for the screen, mm -hmm. uh, you're faced with a number of challenges. The main one being that the novel is often written in first person, which means that the lead character is therefore able to explain the world and the relationship with the characters, whereas with television, you want to see that in action. Mm -hmm. um, so what we did with some beats uh, or you know, some moments in the novel is bring them forward from later in the story, mm -hmm. later in the novel, um, to the beginning so that we set up the world of the characters. So that takes time. Uh, and we're also working with quite a team of people. Um, so we had Kate Brooke, who was our lead writer, mm -hmm. um, and a number of other writers who were working across the series as well. So it's a very collaborative effort. And Jane mm -hmm. Tranter, who runs Bad Wolf, uh, along with Julie Gardner, um, was very instrumental in set Well, she was instrumental in setting up the series, uh, along with Ryan, uh, who works in the Riley office. Mm -hmm. Because I know as a fan, sometimes when I'm watching something, I'll think that isn't how I imagined it in my mind. But you also have to create the TV show to um, be watchable for people who haven't read the books. Absolutely. And, and it's, uh, it's always a, a big challenge in the sense that um, Deborah has such an amazing following for the novels. Um, and as a result, the bar is set incredibly high. So every decision that we make... Uh, we've got to really road test to make sure that it does feel authentic to the novel um, and will be and work very well for a television audience. Now, translating the book to TV, A, how was it finding the cast members? Because seeing the people you selected, they did fit in with what I imagined they looked like, as well as the set design, because there's a certain aspect of fantasy to the books that I don't think is something that's already here and you'd have to have created it. Um, as far as sets. No, no, it's true. I think with casting, uh, I have to be honest and say we were incredibly blessed in the sense that we spoke, uh, we sent the scripts off to some great actors and they in turn loved the scripts mm -hmm. uh, and were really taken by the novels as well and wanted to play the part. So um, it was a journey because uh, it takes time to get access to the best talent mm -hmm. uh, because they've often got they're busy working on other projects so um, it's a journey and then in terms of the sets um, uh, Bad Wolf in the UK generally um, drama is made on location mm -hmm. whereas um, Jane Tranter who uh, runs Bad Wolf uh, spent a lot of time um, working in America uh, she made a series a um, limited miniseries with HBO called The Night Of mm -hmm. um, and she was quite liberated in the sense that she was able to build a lot of the sets uh, which creatively just gave a lot more um, creative options uh, and we and, and she, by her encouragement we brought that method back to Bad Wolf in Wales where we we're based um, and also in LA but in Wales we have a studio which is gargantuan it's like 150,000 square feet um, and we used every inch of that stage and it also involved building the Bodleian Library um, because without giving you a big spoiler, um, there's an amazing sequence that we filmed in the Bodleian Library that we couldn't do on the actual location itself. Um, and in fact, here's a little prop that I brought along, which oh, is indeed. called the, the Ashnall Manuscript. Um, and it's something um, which was designed in collaboration with, with Deb. Um, and you'll see the, you know, it's a, it's a palimpsest. <laughs> so um, you'll see it in the show and it'll all make sense when you watch the first episode. But um, you know, the, the detail of it is just phenomenal. Um, it must really help actors to have something like that physically in their grasp, as well as just looking at the book in person. It smells like an old book and it feels like an old book. So you must have put an effort to create something that would have fit in with the fantasy time date. No, for sure. And I think it's something, you know, as always, authenticity is important to us as, as filmmakers, um, and it's important to Deb as an author as well. And we want to make it as grounded as possible within the real world, even though we are dipping our toe into this sort of fantasy uh, genre, especially as we go further down the line mm -hmm. with the series, because we start very much grounded in the real world. Um, so, for example, um, Deborah arranged for... Uh, Teresa, who plays Diana, mm -hmm. to go to Cardiff University to the special manuscript collection, mm -hmm. um, just to be able to feel books um, and learn how you should treat books respectfully and mm -hmm. properly. Uh, again, just going back to authenticity, and I think 
you know, it, it's, it just pays dividends on the screen. Well, I'm not... Well, I'm very excited for being able to see this in America on either Sundance Tea now. now or on Shudder. And, of course, I will not try and bootleg it from England. Even <laughs> if I want to bootleg it from India, um, from England, it's impossible. But I'm very excited. I'm hoping to be able to get a book signed by Deb, as well as see any upcoming projects you guys might have that will come from the UK to America. Well, you must. Um, the project we're filming at the minute is called His Dark Materials, which is an adaptation of a Philip Pullman novel, uh, which is going to be awesome. So, yeah, keep watching. Well, I have to keep watching, and I'll follow you guys on Twitter. What's your Twitter account? It's hashtag uh, Discovery of Witches and at Badwolf. I love the name Bad Wolf. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi um, horror movie with <laughs> werewolves. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Thank you so much and welcome to Comic-Con. Thank you.